this is Dr. Sangeet and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Pachala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy when today's topic we are going to talk about the tumor wherein there is increase in the cell number. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back to 5 in 5 series where we cover each topic under 5 headings in 5 minutes and today's topic is the Kaposi sarcoma. So this is a basically malignant neoplasm which is arising from the endothelial cells of the blood capillaries. Why Kaposi sarcoma we will cover this but before we get started make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future notifications. So talking about the Kaposi sarcoma. See, we know that this is a sarcoma. That means it is going to be a malignant neoplasm. Sarcoma is most, mostly they are the uh, neoplasm of the connective tissues, right? So, sarcomas, carcinomas are the basically malignant neoplasm. Oma means benign neoplasm, right? So, sarcoma it is a malignant neoplasm of the endothelial cells of the blood capillaries. So, the blood capillaries, they have got endothelial cells and there is a malignant neoplasm of these cells. Then why Kaposi? Because it was first reported by the Moritz Kaposi in 1872. So, this Kaposi sarcoma has got endemic relevant, endemic relation. That means it is more particularly present in the Central European or the Mediterranean origin. Now, what happens, there is going to be an association in the Kaposi sarcoma, which is very important. So, we will also cover this in the known Hodgkin lymphoma, in that there is also association with the AIDS. But the most common association, the most important association of the AIDS is in the Kaposi sarcoma. So, always remember A for AIDS, P for palate. This is for you to remember it easier. Usually Kaposi sarcoma is not seen in the oral cavity. Mostly it is either affecting the skin, the lymph node or the bone. 10% only Kaposi sarcoma has got the oral lesions. In the oral, mostly it affects the palatal region. That is why to make it easier for you to remember, I have made A for AIDS, P for palate. Always and always remember that Kaposi sarcoma is associated with the AIDS and most of the AIDS patients are actually having the Kaposi sarcoma. So this is a multicentric angiosarcomatous lesion. This is a like again malignant neoplasm of the endothelial cells of the blood capillaries. So if we see that there are three clinical stages to the Kaposi sarcoma. The first one is the patch stage. Always if anything initiates, it initiates from low. And it goes enlarged, makes big at the final stages. So the patch stage is basically the initial stage. Wherein there is just a patch. There is no big lesion. It is just a patch. What color patch? Either it is going to be pink, red or purple color macule. It is just going to be a patch. There is no elevated surface. There is no nodule. Plaque is when this patch... Uh, it becomes little bit raised from the surface, little bit raised, like how a mosquito bites and we have got a little bit of raised surface, like that uh, large raised volacious plaque is seen in the plaque stage. Then comes the nodular surface stage, that is the last stage of the Kaposi sarcoma. So this nodular stage, we have multiple nodules. The lesions are in form of multiple nodules. So the patch stage, which is the initial stage, which is red, pink or purple color macules are present. In the patch stage, if we take a histological section, we see that there are multiple dilated irregular blood vessels. Because this is a endothelial, this is a neoplasm of the blood capillaries, endothelial lining of the blood capillaries, right? So we will just see the lining of the blood capillaries. So the blood capillaries are just dilated. So, there is multiple dilated irregular blood capillaries up till the patch stage. Next comes the plaque stage wherein there is little bit raised surface. So, there is a large raised volacious plaque. If we see, look at the histological sections. So, the, there are dilated jagged vascular channels which are lined by the spindle type of cells. 
Then comes the last stage which is the nodular stage. If we look at the nodular stage, there are nodular lesions which are present. Multiple nodular lesions in the Kaposi sarcoma which are present and histological section there are sheets of spindle shaped cells and because the, these sheets have now become nodule like. So there is multiple nodular lesions. So this is about the Kaposi sarcoma. And always remember this is associated with the AIDS in patients with AIDS. It is usually frequently seen. So this is about Kaposi sarcoma reported, first reported by the Moritz Kaposi in 1872. So guys, this is about the Kaposi sarcoma. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. So if you have enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up. Also, you can comment in the comment section below. And there is a link in the description box below to support me on Patreon as well as on PayPal to make free videos for you guys and to make free notes. So guys, till then, keep reading, keep learning, stay motivated. I will see you soon in the next video.